Hello, my name is Robert M. Hall, and today we're going to be discussing Adobe Device Central CS3 and Adobe Photoshop CS3, how the two of them integrate together, and we're going to be discussing some of the key elements of creating mobile documents in Photoshop and Device Central, previewing your work, selecting proper device profiles and content types, as well as utilizing some of the features of the preview functionality for previewing your content in Adobe Device Central. Let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. So first thing, let's go to File. And you'll see there's a new option, Device Central. And we'll launch that. And this will open up Adobe Device Central. And it'll default to the Device Profile window. I'm just going to pull up the Welcome screen. I'm going to click uh, Create New Mobile Photoshop File. So I'm actually going to go to my Aqua set, which is a set of devices that I've set aside already. I'm going to go ahead and hit Create. And you'll see that it automatically goes back to Photoshop and creates a new document for us. We'll open a recent document, and I'm going to open up a wallpaper that I've already been working on. So I want to see how this might look on the device. So now that I've got this open, let's go ahead and go back to Save for Web and Devices. And this will bring up my standard Save for Web dialog, and I can make my settings and adjustments for the compression type and the image format. And then I'm going to actually click on Device Central again. And this will take in and now it'll preview on the content. So I've currently got a Nokia E61 profile selected and you'll notice that the dimensions of the display for the E61 are 320 by 240. It doesn't quite fit. Well one of the nice features is you can actually show how things might stretch to fit the screen. If I go over to scaling I can do stretch to screen and it's actually gonna squash the image and stretch it out to fill the entire screen. Now really I, I don't want it to do that because I'm not really targeting this uh, E61 device for this particular wall paper, so I'm going to go back to use original size, I'm going to switch back to a Nokia N73 profile. There you can see it actually shows up with the right uh, dimensions and proportions. And let's zoom in a little bit so we can see a little better. Now uh, let's say we've previewed this, it looks okay, but I want to make some tweaks. So we can go to File and go Return to Photoshop. And that'll quickly take us back again to our document where I can hit Cancel. Let's say I might want to make a new adjustment layer. And in this case, I just want to adjust the brightness and contrast. So I'll make a new brightness and contrast adjustment layer, and I'll just I'll make the contrast a little lower. I'm going to drop the brightness down. Actually, I'm going to bump up the brightness a little bit. I want it even faded back even more. So I'm going to OK. And now I can go back, save for web and devices, and go to Device Central. And again, I can preview my content. Now it's much lighter, and that might work better when uh, I'm indoor. There's some reflections. Again, hundreds of variations of things you can experiment with to really tailor your content to best suit how you're going to deploy it and the type of devices you're going to deploy on. It really gives you an efficient environment for testing and you don't even have to test on the devices until you really got things fine-tuned enough to where you're ready to get to that point.